now opening. Please proceed to the safe zone. Hey everybody, Ryan McCaffrey here at Sledgehammer Games. We're here with IGN first, all month long covering Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Back again with the game's lead multiplayer designer, Greg Reisdorf. Greg, good to see you. How's it going? Nice to be here. Let's reveal another new multiplayer map, which happens to be this one we're on. Uh, tell us the name of it, give us a little backstory, and uh, if there's anything, if anything weird's gonna happen in the next few minutes. <laughs> Uh, so this map here is, is called Recovery, and so Recovery is taking place in Hawaii in between, or on a volcano, and it basically happens on, on two sides of a volcano. It's, One, it's a good place to put a multiplayer map, yeah, right on know, a volcano. Why not? I mean, <laughs> it just works. Um, and so, so the unique feature about this map is halfway through the map, um, a, an event will occur, and that event is basically the volcano starts to erupt, and, and volcanic gas and everything else starts to cover uh, this half of the map that we're in right now, and you so, essentially evacuate to the other. So half let's of the take map. a quick walk. We've got one minute until that happens. So let's uh, yeah, give us a tour of this half of the map. What are any maybe choke points we should be looking for? Key jumps, any of that sort of so, thing that can help us uh, kick some ass come November. So right here is a pretty big key one. Uh, if you can make this across, it's kind of hidden in a little little bit, but you kind of come through this observatory, this telescope kind of mechanical area, mm -hmm. um, and this is like a hot spot right here on top of this roof. There's tons of action that's always going to occur here. It's great, great oh, lines of sight going across yeah, big pretty visibility much the around a lot of area here. Yeah, and then you can also cover. You can kind of hop out here and cover. Oh, there we oh. go. <laughs> going to start the event a little bit. With these, so the arrows, I guess, are telling us to get out of here. Get, yeah, fo follow the arrows to safety. I'm going to go the wrong way here and just take a look at like some Whoop. of these <laughs> large chunks coming in. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, so now the idea is to basically just get out. And so what this does is this creates some crazy choke points. Do you feel like Pierce Brosnan right now? <laughs> that, I feel like that every day. Um, but, you know, <laughs> we'll just, but uh, there's some, so some is doors this, here. Is this so the hangar door we have to get, get into? Get yeah, clear? so there's actually two of these that, are, that have opened up. Um, and you get about, you get a minute to get through them. Uh, there's one over here. So there's... Basically, the team that wants to control them first, and if you can control them and lock it down, uh, you're going to be in a pretty good spot. Um, but then, as you go and, and you move through the map, you're going to start spawning on this edge of the map, uh, on this side of the map, and it's. Uh, so you can you can brief people for a little while at the door as they're trying to make their yeah, escape. Yeah, you can like sliding under the door at the, at the last minute. It's always fun to do. Um, and yeah, you can you can pretty much defend it and really hold down this area, especially any kind of sentry guns you get over here, uh, remote turrets, uh, just holding those areas down. They will start to spawn on this, this edge of the map, which is the outside of the volcano. Well, you're um, making me wish I was in Hawaii right now. <laughs> and so this is, this is basically some couple helipads over here. There's lots of fun jumps going across uh, the outer area that you can make. Nice. You may have done this once or twice yeah, before. Yeah, just a few times. <laughs> Um, and so then, so the it seems like the map changes a bit from you know mid mid match from uh, after the event happens from a little bit more contained narrower corridors to this seems to you know much more wide open. It is um, the the first side of the map is is very compact and tight and really fast gameplay, uh, and then once you get out to this this outer section of the second half of the map. It turns into much more open gameplay, and, and it favors uh, longer range. Uh, you're going to want an AR, especially in this area, at least an AR. You can also utilize the ground play, running around down here on the ground in the in and outs. Most people are jumping up on top. They're going to they're going to stay up above. People mm -hmm. like to be up high. Sure, I agree. Um, this corner is another one to to kind of watch out for. It's it's just high traffic area. Lots of objectives are placed down in this area. Um, people are just moving across, but it's also pretty wide open. You get a nice feel for what everything else is, all the other paths kind of coming through here. Um, so real quick before we wrap up our uh, walking tour of this map, what, what game modes are your favorites on this particular map? Uh, CTF's a lot of fun on this map, um, and that's in particular because we do have the dynamic event that, that occurs midway right. through it, so it does change the feel of uh, CTF. Sometimes can it, can it, it ruin a flag capture really quickly? <laughs> I, I would say ruin a flag capture, but it, it certainly makes it more interesting. Um, and then also domination. Domination will, will switch sides as well. Uh, and then it resets the, the dom points when it switches sides. So it does 
create some interesting, you know, new little changes to modes. Great, and then, uh, so we should definitely have a couple of different loadouts, one for the first half of the map that's uh, maybe... A yeah, or, or run overkill. Uh, right. If you run with the overkill wild card, you can just have that the SMG with all your attachments in, the, in slot one and then go with an AR or a sniper in, uh, in your secondary. Perfect. Well, this is uh, Recovery, a little taste of Hawaii here while you frag away in Call of Duty. For more on all things Call of Duty, keep it tuned all month long here on IGN Friday.